the letter for me. Oh, sorry. No, he's dead. Sorry, sorry. Keep forgetting. Where am I and what am I doing? Hello, Hazardous. Hello, Takoda. It says Assassin's Creed Syndicate on my end, but thank you for checking. Lord knows I forget about it plenty. There must be something of interest here! Hello, Narset. I'm a little stretched, but otherwise I'm doing alright. I don't know how much longer is in this. I hope we could at least get done with this in time to do the rumination today, so we can start near tomorrow. At least I think it's near next. Hey, Volcanto. Could someone do me a favor and check the website and see which game is listed as next? But yeah, we're doing a double shift today. I have enough groceries to last a week. I'm going to be down to, you know, eggs and protein powder, but that's okay. And if worse comes to worse, I can always have something delivered. Okay, it is near Automata. Woo! A game I'm sure many people will be excited for. Hopefully. These old Navy ships were hulked out to hold prisoners until they were assigned a convict ship leaving for the colonies. So this is where Jack keeps his quarry. Let's see if Jack is paying a visit to his captives. One moment, Narsa. Give me a second. Whisper. Boom. There you go. Hey, Be Blue Wolf Alex. Yeah, I almost said Blue Den Alex because I was reading your sentence while I said it. Yes, we are currently in m amongst the Jack the Ripper DLC. Hi, Theoretical. We're currently going to rescue Jack, totally. I mean, not Jack, Jacob, the other one. Big ship. What a four decker? Jacob, is that you? Help me. Miss, please, why am I here? No one will tell me. It's Jack. Jack the Ripper, I say. He's the one who abducted us. He starves, tortures us until we write to our families, begging them to do as he dictates, or we'll be slaughtered. Is he here? Have you seen the Ripper recently? Not for weeks. But he'll come back. And bring more poor suds to dance on the warders called for him.
Yeah, no, it's not afternoon for another uh, hour. Or, sorry, minute. <sighs> I'm a little tired. <laughs> Jack has locked them up like animals. They'll all die of cholera. If the chief warder doesn't hang them first. Good night, Narset. Do enjoy us. I'll see you tomorrow. Where we will be doing um, top down shoot 'em up, I believe, for the initial thing. If I'm remembering correctly. That's a lot more people. I was wondering why there were so few in it. Oh my god, that's a. Hmm, okay. Alright. Bit of a shift, huh, S.A. Ross? It's okay. We will make Victoria, England, just like Equestria, one corpse at a time. For the greater good! Truth be told, I barely remember Nier Automata's gameplay, so I'm curious what I'll think of it. Other than the negative or two or three we'll give for uh, ending B. I mean, that's that's kind of set in stone. I can't imagine that's going to change. Oh, no, there will definitely be positives for the later stuff. It's just... B is, like, the biggest flaw of that entire game, in my opinion. Someone get him from behind! Would you please stop? Whatever. I will admit, I'm a little more iffy on Platinum. I mean, I liked Bayonetta 2 a lot. But, at the same time, I would have a hard time naming another Platinum game that I really dug like I did Bayonetta 2. Specifically 2, not 1. Maybe Transformers? Although I never beat that game, so I don't know if it tapers off. I beg you, don't leave us to perish. The Chief Warder is a vile, sadistic man. No one spoke to me for weeks. Then the warder's assistant came to ask me how much I weigh. I need to get into the main prison and find the chief warder before he hangs another man for Jack's entertainment. Okay, I'll be real. I don't see what's so entertaining about watching people get hung, but... Then again, I am killing people for entertainment, so what the hell do I know? What are they charging for, Dakota? I haven't even looked yet. Check. Let's do a steam up really quick here. No, that's 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 normal. Sixty bucks. I'm not gonna pre-order it because that's probably in the year plus range out of this range. And the one thing I care about, nobody's been able to answer me yet. Hi, Jaluto. That's okay. I'm sure it'll be good. I did like Total War Warhammer 2, it's just it had flaws. Oh, no, shocking. I swear they've shrunk my, my uh, 
eagle vision range. God, that sucks, Dakota. I'm sorry. No, S.A. Ross. No dumb questions. Go and dredge your Thames, you lazy bastards. The chief warder wants privacy. Right. Don't lose heart, gentlemen. We can break out of here if we work together. Well, it's no use. We need explosives to blast through those doors. You gotta get the weight just right. Drop them gentle. Let them do the work. That way you can stretch their gullets a good four or five inches before they croak. What? Yes, Warcraft and World of Warcraft are the same setting. Not an invalid question. Oftentimes, things of the same label are parts of different fiction. Star Trek, excuse me. Actually, Star Trek's a bad example. Well, no, Star Trek's a decent example. The books in comics have nothing to do with anything, but some of the books are part of their own continuity, shared continuity. And some of the comics are part of their own shared continuity. And all of them cohese with the shows, but the shows don't cohese with them, and then there's the movies, and... Yeah. Intersecting continuities. So not, a, not an invalid question, Mr. Ross. Sorry, Ross. I say it right. Warcraft has a few things that have been made non-canon now. Only a few. Stop I need to talk about that grappling hook when I get to the rumination of this one. That's cute. It's lined with barbed wire, so I can't get on the roof. Hmm. If it makes you feel any better, S.A. Ross, most people don't understand that Warcraft is the setting, not WoW. Hell, even I have the problem occasionally where I talk about the setting is WoW instead of Warcraft, because I'm an idiot. No. You got to get the weight just right. Drop them gentle and let them do the work. That last one, right, Marty, fat bastard he was. He took some faffin, but I. Go see what's no wrong up there, you sickly ass. Yes, sir. Warcraft 1 predates World of Warcraft by about 15 years in real lifetimes. Give or take. I could stretch you out 10, 12 inches, but if you're dead, there's no in it for me, is there? The... Could eat two shoes, is it? You think offering some old hangman's going to change what we do here? <laughs> we. What do you think? This was your brother's vision. Is it inspiration? I don't believe you. He told Mr. Jack how to rip the filth from this rotten city, but you don't have the balls to see what's right and necessary. 
Where's Jack? Where's the Ripper? <laughs> To hell with your right when necessary. That vile sadist was working for the Ripper. But there's no sign of Jack here. Oh, Jacob, you did not intend to breed this monster. But he is ours to destroy. The legacy of our brotherhood depends on it. I must inform Abilene about what I have discovered here. Hi, Gossie. Do I think they'll ever make a Warcraft 4? There are many reasons why that will probably not happen anytime soon. And when I say anytime soon, I mean, like, within the decades range. Yes, Jaluda. <laughs> yeah, I know, right, Blue Up Alex? Uh, Book of Hours? Which one's that one, Dakota? You might have told me about it, I just don't remember. Yeah, WoW would have to stop being financially profitable. Never mind the financial juggernaut that it is for them to really do something else. First time playing, period, Gossi. I have never played Syndicate before. Hmm. So, like, prison architect to Rimworld kind of a thing, Dakota? I actually don't know if they're different developers. They sure as hell play the same. But I don't know. Pretty dope. Um, but yeah, so... There's several problems with a Warcraft 4. Problem number one, idiots. I've talked about this. I talked about this at length uh, two days ago about how things are popular because they're made popular. You remember that? When I was talking about Fortnite? The... that way? Okay. The money people have decided that RTS is one of those niche genres and therefore is not worth the money to actually invest in it and make it worthwhile. So, RTS is is not something that's really going to be supported by a large-scale company or a AAA development unless someone decides to go ahead and make the next big thing and follow the next same trend, right? So that's problem number one. Problem number two is Blizzard actually already has experience with competing with themselves in the competitive market. They had two RTSs running concurrently there, and it completely bit them in the rear. And so that's probably not a, a thing they're keen to repeat. And yeah, I mean, the StarCraft scene is still going. <sighs> Problem number three is the fact that there are issues with regards to how uh, Warcraft and how World of Warcraft, like a Warcraft 4 and World of Warcraft could interact with regards to a creative perspective. Because there's only really two choices, well, three, but you, you make it continuity or you make it not. The third choice would be you can make it continuity but set in a different time period before WoW starting. For example, you could have the game crash. That's one of the choices you have at your disposal when it comes to making a Warcraft 4. Now, there are other issues, but those are the big ones. WoW makes too much money, they don't want to compete with themselves, and RTSs don't sell. Even though they could and they would, they have and they did. This is also why we will never probably get a Warcraft city builder, which I would absolutely love. Although I'd want a Starcraft city builder before Warcraft 1, but point remaining. We'll probably never get a town-building kind of management sim in Diablo, for example. It's another one we've talked about. We'll probably never get a RPG, single-player RPG, set in Warcraft. It's 
I mean, what other genres would you like to see in Warcraft? Real question. Because it's, it's a big setting. There's a lot of work you could do with, uh, with Azeroth. But I'm curious of your thoughts. Well, I know what you'd pick, Dakota, and I'd be all for it. Turn-based, grid-based, no tactical. Oh, Jacob, you did not intend to breed this monster. But he is ours to destroy. The legacy of our brotherhood depends on it. I must inform Aveline about what I have discovered here. Agreed, Blowethalix. Farming out is a thing you can do. And while I understand why Blizzard is hesitant to do so since Diablo 1 Hellfire, the times have changed a little bit at this point, you know? There's there's potential for that kind of approach to development. And they're just throwing it out the window entirely. It's like Wombaclad over there, who just threw me out the window a few minutes ago. I'm not sure why. That's why the game crashed, was because Wombaclad threw me out the window. Thank you, Gossy. Very, very much for that sub. If you know where you want that to go, please let me know. I need to speak to Frederick Abeline. This is an emergency. Well, where is he? The Ripper is struck again. Where? All right. Thank you, officer. Wait! You need to alert the local constable. Send as many men as you can to the old Hulk prisons. Gotta have the top hat. I mean, Diablo's going mobile, so... Warcraft is probably next. I can't wait for a beloved Jake's franchise to be crapped upon. Twin sister thinks she can catch them. What the hell is this place? This You can, Gossie. One moment. There we go. Valhalla it is. Cut your ears off and send them to your women! Ah. Hey, Pocket Jasmine. As you can see, we are currently playing as the monster. I hope you wash 
Yeah, my favorite hangman, Lookins. We actually do have a health bar. It's on the left side of the mini-map, in the lower left. And five healing potions, or whatever. Healing opiums. Hello, race, race cat. Yes, we are now Mr. J. I mean, you know, Mr. Jack. Captain! Down. Down. There you go. Oh, for God's sakes. Do I have to? Yeah, it looks like I do. Alright, whatever. I mean, they haven't hit me yet, so that's whatever. Given the fact that we literally have AoE stun locking ability, that's probably by design. You ever wanted to be overpowered? Jeez. I got hit! Damn it. Oh, I'm out. That's why. Yep, that was Savicom. She put... they put their... Uh, monthly Patreon towards it. Hello, Michael. The monster. Michael's the monster, so I'm trying to say. How would you like me to serve your kidneys? Hope the job goes well, regardless of you know patronage. Weird. And dead. That's true. We are at Dakota. Hmm. So how much progress did I just lose? I'm guessing all of it. Nope. Just about half. Really hate that. Probably my least favorite part about the combat. Whoops, you're counterattacked someone successfully. Now you're gonna go hit the person who's blocking, which means they counterattack you. It's the only part of the combat I don't like about it in this game. That's what killed me last time too. 
Oh no, this game is totally proto-Odyssey. The more I play it, the more I see it. All those silhouettes look the same to me, Volcanto. I'd almost forgotten these. There will be time for more games of Saucy Jack once I've dealt with Miss Fry. disagree, Michael. I plan to talk about that during the rumination. But if I was to summarize it right now, I would say that this game is... I mean, it's good. I enjoy it. But it's easy to see how exaggerated only slightly it could turn into Odyssey. If they screwed up on and just fudged a couple of numbers in a relatively small way, this game would be just as aggravating as Odyssey, in my opinion. They didn't, so it's not. But that's what I mean when you can say the bones of Odyssey here. Oh, I hate that! The one major change between this game and Odyssey, really the one big one, it's not the grapple. It's the fact that the assassin kill instantly kills. Which is just not a thing in Odyssey. Gameplay score at plus seven is actually pretty good. I mean, that's not super high, but that is good. I think that puts it at our second highest rated AC game. The warder had orders to burn all their personal effects. The police must not find this evidence. No one must find my guest's personal effects. Me too, Michael. It won't be long before my masterpiece will bring her running right into my arms. I look forward to the family reunion. Four might be the highest rated. I don't actually know. I never reviewed four. I hope to someday. I kind of hope to review most of them, honestly. Two, bro, rev, three, four, rogue. It's a lot of games, though. And most of those are barely funded. Ah, oh, that would have been awesome, Gossy. Yeah, I I have many, many complaints with Odyssey, but, I mean, there, there were good things too, obviously, I did give that game several positives, but uh, to, to address what you said specifically, 
I think one of the biggest mistakes they made was they went before Origins, timeline-wise. I, th I think that was not a good choice. Then, you know, they went full hog with stats, and the launch was terrible. And But no, the, the timeline thing is the big one. It's not like there isn't Greek history after, you know, the AD range. <laughs> Um. Monster. You damn monster! Oi! You're not allowed in here! Evie! Get a hold of yourself! Go! Go! Out! Who is she? Tell me quickly! Tell you? By what right? I am an officer of the law. I am not a member of your secret organization. Listen to me. Jacob knows... No, you listen to me. I cannot cover for you much longer. All the evidence points to your brother, your order, you. You need to deliver the Ripper's head on a spike soon, or I'm afraid there'll be nothing to stop my men from arresting you in his stead. You'll have his head, even if it costs me mine. A young, unfortunate... Oh, I'd be all over that, Vigilant. By far the youngest, at 25. Miss Kelly was found dead here at 10.45... He removed morning. her organs, her heart... Her throat had been... Her dignity. Her you want me to see you as she did? In a fashion Imagine the terror she felt. The word Do you is. hurt women just to prove you're a man, Jack? The kettle is still warm. That is a lot of blood. I can't make sense of these markings from this position. this jack must have left these markings for me my gift to you miss fry and more to come unless you do as jack says follow the trail of blood through the looking glass jack wants me to return to the scene of his first crimes i will do as you say jack until i find you and send you to your own special hell what did you discover a message for me the monster is going to lead me right to him, Inspector. I must return to the locations of the Ripper's first crimes. Don't let your fury blind you, Miss Fry. I would not lose you, too. If I do die, Inspector, I will take the Ripper with me. Annie Chapman was murdered near a cemetery in Whitechapel. I mean, I, I, I've said this before, Gossi, I know you weren't here for it. Based on spoiler things I'm not going to discuss in this stream, in the modern day plot of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, it feels like they have started the next chapter of where they're going with that story. So that could be the part of that soft reboot thing. They're still keeping continuity, they're not actually rebooting it, but you can tell how they're like, okay, next arc, next arc, let's go. Frankly, that's what started even in Odyssey, especially given what happened to Mr. Berg. Never mind Juno. Oh, great. That's. I'm going to have to scare off this lot if I want to investigate in peace. She should be here! Give me five minutes of peace. You're dead, She's mate! Not allowed in here! I'm surprised she won't back up! Whoa! 
Yeah, I'm cautiously optimistic, Gossy. Someone fought here. We'll see. The only things I've spoiled myself for in Valhalla is the modern day plot, so I have no idea what's going on otherwise. This is where Jack ripped the life from Miss Chapman's breast. The second victim of his hideous crimes. He cut off her ring finger. So where is the ring? Where is the ring? Sorry. Sorry. Where does it lead? Lord of the Rings. Sorry. Sorry, I'm dumb. Damn it. Yet another one. I need to watch those movies again with all that spare time I have. It'd probably be more like I need to listen to those movies again. Actually, that's an interesting idea. I wonder if I could rip the audio and just listen to it on the you know on the phone while I drive. Are there more than 10 Q episodes in TNG? Are you kidding me? You, really? Game? Really? I'll follow the bird. Okay, that's, in, that's not there. Jack wanted to be sure I'd find these rings. I mean, there aren't that many Q episodes, not really. One of those weird things about Treks. <laughs> like that, right there. What kind of creep cannot protect its own? This message was intended first for my brother. Catherine Eddowes was murdered in a small square close to the train tracks. Well, given the mere fact that they didn't actually show his death, if, just based on narrative law, Jake, Jacob is alive. I don't know why, but he is currently alive. The way they framed it, the way they did the shot, he, he's alive. I, I don't know what I think of that, to be completely honest with you. Uh, let's see. So yeah, we had Farpoint, Hide and Q, um, Deja Q, Q Hit, Q Hit, True Q, all good things. Uh, Tapestry is another one in TNG, Blow Alex. You're a dead woman! And I feel like there's another one, but I can't think of it. No, Dakota, no difference. At least not that I've noticed. I mean, it took me a moment to remember, and I actually really like Tapestry. It's one of my favorite episodes. Oh, 
the top eight. Uh oh, cops. As usual, cops are in my way. <laughs> what is this, GTA? Oh, wait. So let's see, while we wait for that to die out. Um, top tier Q episodes. So, I would put Tapestry, Q Who, and All Good Things at the top. Then, whichever one it is where he becomes human, immediately after that. And... Then probably encountered Farpoint, actually. While that episode has many problems, Q is not one of them. <laughs> True enough, Black Val. Yeah, Q Pid was eh, and Hide and Q should, if that's the one I'm thinking of, should actually be a lamentation. The one where he gives Riker powers. That episode pisses me off hard, and the only reason it didn't get Lamentation is because we hadn't defined Lamentation, really, at that point in time. We're still operating under the Voyager mentality. So you asked, is Q in anything else? Q has one episode in DS9, which is not good. And then Q also has three episodes in Voyager? Death Wish, which actually I really like. The Q in the Gray, which is face palmingly awful, but at least enjoyable in its stupidity. And then I forget the name of it is, but it's it's the episode with Q's son, which is terrible in every way. You murdered every assassin my brother turned against you and your insane creed. More blood splatter. Oh yeah, Q2. I forgot about Q2. With uh, Amanda Rogers. A very important character that is never mentioned ever again. Because that's, that's how Star Trek likes to do things. I've been asked periodically why I am so pro-continuity. I will admit part of it is Pendulum Effect. Because so many of the things I have enjoyed for so many years have been so anti-continuity. To the point of aggravation. Um, yes, I did like Iborg. Pretty sure that rumination's already on live. I've kind of lost track of where we're at. I know we're not done because we're not in March yet. That's when everything will finish up. And then in Picard, we'll have QP. Or Q... I can't think of a Q pun right now. Make new friends, but keep Q. That'll be the name of the episode. Yeah, I'm kind of with you, Kira White Noise. Jack is just another one of those extre extremists, which, I mean, I guess that's not really a good thing. But whatever. Ah, that took a while. Now, I'll tell you an episode that I was surprised to dislike Descent. It has lore, a strong data-centric plot, the Borg, and tons of continuity. You'd think I'd love that. Signs of a struggle. It's a good example of an episode, uh, you know, that uh, that on paper sounds awesome, and then, well, then the actual episode came out. That is a lot of blood. Oh yeah, it also has a side story with Gates McFadden. I, I mean, Beverly Crusher, which doesn't go anywhere and doesn't do anything, but at least it was there. I must find the location where Jack murdered his other victim. Hmm. Oh, Transfigurations was just bleh. 
I was already not liking the episode, and then that final little tidbit with the outfit just threw it over the ledge. Just, ugh. I remember that. Blood splatters. I haven't seen it yet, Roaring Metalman. Her assassin ring must be here somewhere. No, don't. Come on. Go back down. Okay. Okay. There we go. But to answer your question, Von Falkenstein, with the but, the problem is Descent was a terrible episode. It's a perfect example of why a premise does not mean a good resultant, you know? Her assassin ring must be here somewhere. Search, search, search. The assassin's rings. Jack murdered two women here. Two of Jacob's initiates. Actually, yeah, theoretical. Or Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I mean, Assassin's Creed game, Polyponesian era? Hell yeah. How many more must die before you see the truth? P.S. Your brother didn't listen, so I gave him a double lesson. Your creed failed them, as it failed my mother. Jack lived around here with his mother as a boy. That's where he's leading me. For Jack, only his mother's death counts as murder. Yeah, I was always kind of eh on the Troy and Worf thing. Until I started going through the episodes and actually analyzing them. And then it became much worse. Which is especially facepalming since they had it planned since season six. They just didn't do anything with it. The Ripper didn't murder anyone here. What? I was born here, survived the madhouse, and learned from the best until he betrayed me. Come test your creed against mine. Go to Jacob! Find Jack! The murder of Jack's mother marks the day that the Ripper was born. And he blames my brother, blames the creed for failing me. What's happening to me? I should thank you, Evie. Jacob inspired my act by his treachery. But it's your mother that inspired today's masterpiece. He's inside my head. Where was Jacob when Stalic's men gutted my mother? Where was he when they dragged me to the madhouse? Am I losing my mind? Oh, one way to be sure. Kill everyone nearby. A dead creed, that's what. Control yourself, Evie. Jacob freed me from the madhouse riddled by guilt. He saw something in me and made me assassin. But I grew. Grew to see his weakness and knew what I had to do. Ah! Jacob bent like those perfect. No, please, please. No bet to Gorda. The madhouse. Lambeth Asylum. Jack lures me through the looking glass. Hmm. 
Don't kill anyone. Don't kill anyone. Do the splits. Because apparently we're Jean-Claude Van Damme. Who knew? The cloud effect. Ridiculous premise, good resultant. As opposed to Voyager effect. Wonderful premise, terrible result. Yeah, I'm starting to think we're seeing a little bit of the consequence of a non-Ezio era brotherhood. Because they recruit people. Any people. There's, there's no vetting. There's no proper training or discipline or organization. I, frankly, I'm a little surprised this is the first person we've turned into a Batman villain, because that's what he is as a direct consequence of being recruited into the Brotherhood. Because you notice this is just an assassin who's gone a little bit further than other assassins have. Not even that much further. Just a little bit further. Dear Volcant, wait. Oh, no doubt, Wombaclat. Especially given the pounding they just got two decades ago. Now I must erase any trace of my identity. Time to pay a visit to my old doctor. It's time my old nurse paid for her negligence and abuse. Um, okay. Can I move, please? Please, can I move, please? Please, can I have control over the game? Please. Coincidence, Roaring Metalman. Reason, there's two reasons I'll change, I'll choose between male and female. One is acting, the voice actor or actress. The other is animations. Sometimes the male animations are better, sometimes the feel ones are better. Better. So, this is interesting. Um, let's see if we can brute force it. Okay, can we move? Still can't move. Or do any input whatsoever. Yep, this is AC at its best. Getting Alt F forward because we got soft lock. That's a true soft lock right there. Gamepad isn't plugged in. I actually thought about that before I even started Unity. Hasn't been plugged in for over a week at this point. As I double check. Just to be sure. Because you never know. Yep, 
Yeah, the actress for female V was just better. <laughs> I mean, she was good. Every way superior, or I mean, but yeah, no, she she was a definitely more experienced actress. There's no denying that. From all that I heard, the guy does a good job too, though. So it's just a preference thing at that point. Whew. Time to pay a visit to my old... Oh, thank God I can move. It's freaking kidding. It's time my old nurse paid for her negligence and abuse. Part of the shame of it is Hale tends to get pigeonholed into doing the female soldier voice. You know, the brick. See Trooper for another good example of that. I'm pretty sure Jack the Ripper qualifies as probably one of the most literal terrorists in human history here. I would probably put four above Syndicate, but other than that, I think I would agree with you, Catman, Man, Manson. Catman, Man, 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 I mean, I think, okay, this, this is just my take on it here. But it seems to me like Jack the Ripper has Batman villain syndrome. You know what I mean, generic, crazy... Disorder. I'm gonna go ahead and admit I don't know what you're talking about, Kritzor, so do you mind clarifying? So I might answer. That drawer will not survive, we'll count. Yeah, I could see him as being Nurse, the other half of Two Face. For mercy, as I once begged for hers. Thank you, Zeiss, very, very much. As always. Are we counting the Arkham versions as DCAU versions? Because they're pretty related. Where's this twin? Oh, there she is. If we count the Arkham stuff as DCAU, which I kind of do, then no, I'm not sure there is such a thing as a Batman take that I don't prefer the DCAU version of. There's Batman takes I like, but the DCAU slash Arkham just kind of kills it. You know what I mean? 
Like when I picture, you know, Two Face, when I picture Joker, etc., etc., that that's what comes to mind. And Bats himself, really. I mean, Kevin Con Conroy is Batman. I'm sorry. But then again, I also say Mark Hamill's the Joker, so what the hell do I know? Let's show Dr. Archer what a good surgeon I made. Director Brad. Be a different continuity, roaring. Heath Ledger was a good Joker. The police mustn't find out I was a patient here. I mean, even Jack Nicholson was a good Joker. It's just, again, if you ask me what my preference is, I'm going to default to Hamill. I don't believe so, S.A. Ross, no. I don't think I've covered any Batman stuff. Uh, not counting the three games. I know, Trim. Don't worry. I'm sure no one will ever donate for streaminations of the DCAU. Ever, 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 ever. Who the hell are you? Meet the Ripper! Actually, those aren't the DCAU. That's the DCMU. Or the DCAMU, or whatever the proper term is for it. But it's its own continuity. No one must ever know that I was an inmate here. Uh, that, that's its own arc of, like, what is it, 15 movies? Something like that. And they're self-contained. I haven't... To prepare for Miss Fry's arrival. I did do... lunatics out for a stroll. I did do uh, Phantom... I can't remember its name. I forgot about that, actually. So there you go. I have done one DCAU movie, but that is it. I didn't do Return of Joker. Mask of the Phantasm, thank you. Or uh, Killing Joker, anything else. I don't remember what the other DCAU movies. I know there's a couple. Somnium... Is that already on the list, Zeiss? Just really quick. Okay, good. In that case, thank you again, Zeiss. Ah, uh, where the hell am I? Yeah, I'll be honest, I don't think I've seen most of the DCAU films. I've seen like three, the I want to say. The merrier. I mean, my favorite Harvey Dent is Tommy Lee Jones, obviously. I couldn't give a straight face. I'm Back sorry. Back to the beginning, eh, Jack? My brother freed you from his madhouse and made you one of us. I can't risk being spotted. Or harming a single police constable. Honestly, my biggest complaint about the DCAU is availability of watching it and having it lined up properly. Have we found all of you know what I mean? <laughs> Are you asking if any other murderous lunatics have escaped into the city? Not yet. Right, well, the inspector should... Like, yeah, it, it's one of those situations where you go and you find an, or a list that fans have put together of what you should watch and where and just kind of piece it together yourself if you're interested, instead of, you know, pulling it up on Netflix or Amazon and hitting play. 
So, Shaira. Shaira. Remind me who that was, Eseros. I'm sorry. I remember Young Justice, but I don't remember names that well. Uh, I gotta be real, I don't... Oh, you mean in jail, you. Sorry. I was about to say, I don't think Hawkgirl was in Young Justice, and she wasn't. In jail, you. Um, I remember her positively? That's about all I got. <laughs> I don't remember much. Apparently she was in Young Just. I believe you. Secretly, I don't actually believe Malachor. He lies constantly. What are my thoughts on Mute Batgirl? I can only assume you mean Cassandra, who's my personal favorite Batgirl. Jack's trail of death continues. The Snyderverse? I've done a couple of streams discussing it, Gossie. I'm not nearly as negative about it as most people are, but otherwise... I'm not a huge fan. I doubt I'll rewatch any of the films in my own right, of my own volition. I think so, S.A. Ross. I could, of course, be wrong. For example, I actually like Jesse Eisenberg in BVS. Notice I don't say Lex, because he's not Lex, but I do like his character. I do like the way he portrays it in that film. Yeah, he's basically the Riddler. It's just very wealthy, the Riddler. And he did a good job of it. He's just, he's not Lex. That's the problem there. But, you know, interpretations, I'm with it. Um, I actually rather liked Wonder Woman. Flawed film, but a lot of good heart there. Shazam was about half enjoyable. And pretty terrifying. Not just for the horror elements, but I mean, the, the frickin' kid's mother. My god, that woman needs to be shot! I liked Aquaman despite the fact that it was an aggressively stupid script. The dialogue in Aquaman is, is, is face-palmingly terrible. But I still enjoyed that film. I already talked about the new Wonder Woman, which is another example of basically being half a good film and half of a bad film, and bouncing back and forth between the two randomly. I would actually recommend you watch the new Wonder Woman movie, legitimately. I'm thinking, why? I'm gonna stop there. Because I don't want to say why, because simply saying why will kind of ruin it. Now, if you don't care about spoilers, this is your chance to mute me. I won't talk about this long. But, uh... Spoilers for Wonder Woman 1984 in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1... Pedro Pascal. I, I know I'm pronouncing his wrong name wrong. Pedro, Pedro Pascal nails his role so hard. He is perfect. He is absolutely perfect. He is literally the star of the show. The film is about him. He has the character arc. He has the story beats. I mean, Wonder Woman and Steve Trevor also uh, have some really good moments. And most of the other good parts of the film are those two, you know, just acting off of each other. But he is perfect as Maxwell Lord. I, I'm sorry for gushing so much, but it is... Like, if it, if it was... If I could just edit out 
most of the rest of the film and just put a film about him and then her and then Steve, that would be a beautiful, amazing film that I would gush about. More than I'm already gushing. But you can see why that kind of spoils it, because not only is it give away the fact that he's amazing, but it gives away the fact that it's his movie. Not hers. What else about the Snyderverse? So, hmm. a an <laughs> you mean the thing they only acknowledged with like three lines of dialogue total, von Falkenstein? The thing that if you read it, wrote it out entirely, it would change nothing about the narrative? <laughs> no, I did not, Roaring. More of Jack's games. There must be other messages for me. <laughs> You will like your prize, but you must descend into the abyss to retrieve it. Yeah, the character literally didn't have a name. That's handsome guy. That is where Jack will spring his final trap. God. Ah, it's just people being idiots. And people stirring trouble because A, it's entertaining, and B, it makes clicks. Honestly, at this point, anytime someone raises a fuss about anything on the internet, I tend to just sort of mentally blank it out. Oh no, there's they're they're censoring some butt shots in Mass Effect 2. Whoop de doo. Sorry. Don't care. I didn't like the Superman film that much, Man of Steel. It was okay, but it was kind of generic and most of the good parts were more on the special effects side of things. I do think it was actually one of the better presentations of Supes' powers in live action. Like they did a good job, not just with showing it, but with the presentation of it. The, the there's, there's a sound design and a visual design to how they showed the powers that worked quite well for me. But that's the nicest thing I can say about that film. Jacob? Lorshock. Welcome to the reunion, Miss Frog. Um, and that just leaves Justice League, which... Justice League is yet another example of a film that had good moments, but overall was just kind of... What? <laughs> I, I don't even get that, honestly. Yeah, you, you, they got Kevin Costner to play P Pa Kent, and, and it just... Oh yeah, there's also Suicide Squad, which I'll admit is not as bad as I thought it would be, but that's entirely because of two actors. Literally, two people carried that film. <laughs> you think you can kill me that way? <laughs> Whoop. Try something else, perhaps. Ha <laughs> ha, that's useless. I'm getting nowhere. I should flee and try sneaking up on him. Yeah. There is a sickness in uh, Will Smith and... I don't know her name, but she is a good actress. I lose patience with your child's play. Where, where am I? Where am I? Jump down? Or don't. I, I will tear him. Don't make me laugh. 
but I am here now. I don't know how to pronounce that, but yes, her. All the rot and shit of this city and rip it out. Hiding, are we? Ha! I learned all your tricks from your brother, assassin. Okay. Margot Robbie, then. Cowering in the shadows, Miss Fry. <laughs> yeah, her and... Actually, I'm, I'm going to take that back. A third actress did a good job. The woman they picked to play... Come out, sister. Join Jack. Oh my god, I can't think of her name. She's one of my favorite characters in, in the DCAU. Still think you... Waller, yeah. I can't think of the actresses... Or the... No, it is Waller. Waller's the character name. Whoever they picked to play Waller did a pretty good job with it. As your twin. <laughs> yeah, this has got a good voice actor. I mean, I've always liked Waller, so I'll admit I'm biased there. I really am. Shall rise. I never saw uh, Birds of Prey, though, so I can't comment on that one. Hiding, are we? Ha! I learned all your tricks from your brother, assassin. Is it the Super Bowl today? Oh, abs I agree, I say, Ross. Join the Cadmus arc it was was fantastic in the DCAU. Who's who's uh, who's playing? This is my time now. Jacobs is done, and you must choose. The Chiefs got to the playoffs? Or not the playoffs, sorry. With your child's play. To the bowl. I am surprised by that. What? No kidding, Pocket Jasmine. Jack the Ripper cannot die! Yeah, but the Chiefs are crap. Free yourselves! Kill that mad woman! I know you blame Jacob for your mother's death, but nothing can excuse the horrors you've committed. Jacob was like a father to you, Jack. You have betrayed his trust and sullied the creed. Well, I mean, that's arguable. I'm just saying, Evie. Jack's a monster, but he's an assassin through and through. Show me your monster assassin. By the way, am I the only person who thinks that football, that is to say, American football, should just embrace the term gridiron because it just sounds badass anyways? You are weak, and just let your Euro European football be football. A relic just like your present. Hi, Carwellis. <laughs> Are these infinite spawning? Is that where we're at? Or I'm dead. God dang it. <sighs> Absolutely, race cat. Kingdom Come Deliverish is a deliverish? Deliverance. <laughs> Is a surprisingly good game. And if you don't like the combat, there's cheats. There is a sickness. Uh, yep, that's starting over from fresh. Made our creep. So the Nolan trilogy. Towering in the shadows, Miss Fry. <laughs> uh, I liked Batman Begins. I did. I think it was an interesting take on things and a reasonably grounded take on things. And they got some good actors to fill out most of the roles in it. I do have some complaints about it. But I can't remember his name is basically the perfect Scarecrow. I, I would have to think about it hard to come up with a better Scarecrow than I can't remember his name. Come out, sister. Join Jack. I obviously am with the rest of the universe and really loving the second film. Not just because of Ledger. Although, duh. And I do very... Cillian Murphy, thank you. He was also good in Sunshine. <laughs> not as a creepy, insane person, believe it or not. 
still think you can hide from me. But I, uh, I don't know, I think there's a lot to discuss and analyze, and there's a lot of surprising subtlety in the second film. And by, by second game, I mean second film. Third film. So, I can't, in fairness, judge the third film. Because I've arguably never seen it. I've talked about this before. I, I went to see it with my friends, and we literally, literally could not hear parts of it because the audio balancing and the sound design was bad. And there were just sections of it where it was just... And it was, it was, uh, peaking. I learned all your tricks from your brother. Couldn't hear what was going on. So my memories of that film are a little hazy, and I've never rewatched it. Are you cat or mouse, Miss Fry? And obviously, I am referring to Bane, but it's not just Bane. Like the whole film had that issue. Thought he could hide from me too. Come out, sister. Join Jack. As cowardly and inept as your twin. <laughs> Working on it, Zach Taft. Cowering in the shadows, Miss Fry. <laughs> I will also say that while Batman films have never been exactly grounded, the third film went a little bit wackier than I think it should have. Uh, don't mistake me, wacky can work quite well in Batman. See, the Arkham games. But I think for what they were going for with the previous two films, wacky was not the correct direction to go in. What? Yeah, I would agree with the phoned-in feel, Riker Spirit. The Ripper cannot die! That woman thinks you're mad! Free yourselves! Kill that mad woman! I know you blame Jacob for your mother's death, but nothing can excuse the horrors you've committed. Jacob was like a father to you, Jack. You have betrayed his trust and sullied the creed! <laughs> <laughs> Show me your monster assassin! These lands need slaughtering! You are weak, assassin! A relic just like your precious tree! I think they are infinitely spawning. Cower before the new face of the assassins. Arguably true. Move, e Evie. Evie, move. The Ripper's terror is eternal. You are weak, assassin. A relic just like your precious creed. Cower before the new face of the assassins. My legend will live forever. Yep, infinitely spawning. Literally a monster closet right there. I will 
my camera please game face of the assassins my legend will live forever i am not a monster you will not make a monster of me oh. ah. Ah. A monster of me. She says as she brutally butchers it. We're the same, you and I. Oh, Jack. You were an assassin, yes. But we are not the same. And that is why your memory must be erased for all time. Rest in peace now, Jack. You and your twisted acolytes. Jacob. Miss Fry, what the hell happened here? Nothing, Inspector. Nothing happened here. Trust me. Jack the Ripper's dead. Inspector! Now help me, Frederick. No one must ever know that Jack the Ripper was an assassin. Over, Jacob. I'm here. Honestly, I would have shot Jack just to be sure. If I was him, I mean. Oh, he gets cut off at the top. Yeah, double tap, exactly. Uh, the end, I suppose. A little less time than I thought it would take, honestly, but then again, we did pull a hell of a shift yesterday, so... That lines up. Hmm, so... That means we have to re review things. Where is the list for this? Here it is. Okay. So I'm going to give a plus to atmosphere and tone, as well as the intro for the Jack the Ripper thing. 
And a plus for Jack the Ripper himself. If nothing else for the presentation value. No, this is all in the story axis. Scrolling down a little bit to gameplay. I am going to go and give a DLC positive to gameplay for effectively for the new mechanics and the uh, and playing as Jack. And for Jinja Ninja, who obviously gets a plus to gameplay. Duh. Oh yeah, we're up to nine, aren't we? Now Jinja Ninja, I'm gonna have to remove that plus since you put that to Bloodborne, sorry. Thank you very, very much, as always. Final thoughts. I'm gonna talk about this in the rumination I'll be recording, which hopefully I'll have enough time to do before doing the, uh, the Star Trek rewrite, which should be on tonight. But... This is simultaneously better and worse than I thought it was. I'm going to stick by that chocolate cookie analogy, I think. Because this game definitely played it safe in many ways. But at the same time, it was still well presented, well done, and well enjoyable. It just kept Trump tripping over itself. It is still a net positive. Looks like right now our score is plus six to gameplay. Which doesn't sound like a lot, and that's, I mean, arguable. But that is better than it could be, and I stand by it as I'm looking at it. Story-wise, yeah, I was obviously very wrong about that. Story-wise, I do think a lot of this narrative of this game is salvaged entirely by presentation. Because the actual plots are kind of disinteresting, almost across the board, and most of the characters aren't really that great. There's also some just... Ugh. But, still a net positive, and still something that I'm into. I think this game also suffers a little bit from another game. I'm, I'm going to not say it because I want to. I have it in my notes for the rumination. But I do want to mention that this game reminds me of something I see semi frequently in other video games where the intro, you know, is decent and the outro is decent and the middle is just kind of there. I have a feeling that as uh, you'll notice, I stopped doing side quests after a certain point. I have already talked to a friend of mine who's played through Syndicate, and he, his general response to this was that he found it kind of unmemorable, and he lost motivation to play it about halfway through. I've already said this earlier, but again, since this is part of our own outro here, there's a decent chance I will replay the beginning of this game at some point or another. Because the intro is pretty good, and there's some good stuff in that first uh, first area, and that first conquest, and just going through that, those several intro quests. And then it tapers off. And then it, it ended high. You know, it ended with what I consider to be the best mission in the entire game. So. <laughs> it's also longer than I thought it would be. Let's let's check our time on this one. Jeez Louise. Let's see here. Oh, I guess I should actually quit the game to update. We. See if anything pops up here. Mission complete. I now have the Ripper's Terror. And Evie did not did not get her black outfit. Sorry, I was gonna wear it, but I never found it. Sorry, sorry. Thank you, Wrecker's Beard, as always. If you know where you want that one to go, please let me know. Whitechapel, that's the name of it. There we go. I also firmly believe that this game, like Unity, suffered for the, you know, the yearly thing. And that's ignoring the crash issues and the bug issues we kept having. Just the actual gameplay of it is just sort of there. Like, it very clearly feels like there could and should be more, and there isn't. Oh, wow, that's a lot longer than Assassin's Creed Unity. 41 hours played. There we go. 
Well, I haven't played Valhalla, so I can't actually talk about that. <laughs> I think that makes this our second longest Assassin's Creed stream, only beaten by Odyssey. I don't remember how long Origins was. I guess I could check. Uh, because I have a spreadsheet for that sort of thing. How long it ran. There it is. There's Origins. Yeah, no, Origins was 33.56 hours. Wow, this is longer than Assassin's Creed Origins. Huh. That's impressive. <laughs> you got it. None of yours. Anyways, bottom line, um, better than I thought it would be. I guess. I, mean, I guess that's not fair. Better than I was expecting might be a better way to put that. After Unity, I wasn't expecting much, to be completely honest with you. Um, but for the most part, with it. I'm going to go ahead and chop off. I do have a video I want to record, and I'd like to get that recorded before I get to the Star Trek rewrite stream tonight. So, I hope you all have enjoyed. I'll see you all next time. Tomorrow we'll be streaming in Near Automata at 9am Eastern Standard Time.